How's it going everybody? Geeky Gambit here and welcome to another episode of Who's Who Wednesday. Today I'm going to be going over everybody's favorite big bald bad guy. That's right, Kingpin. Kingpin has shown up in various, various different iterations. I'm talking TV shows, movies, live action and animation, video games, you name it, Kingpin has made an appearance. So I assume the majority of you at least have a general idea of who Kingpin is. However, do you know his first appearance? Do you know his origin? How about his backstory? Hmm, powers and abilities? Did you know that he's coming to the MCU and more than likely sooner than you would think? I thought not. But don't you worry. I'm going to tell you all about that big bad bald guy. Let's begin. Kingpin's first appearance was in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 50. This is the issue that heavily inspired Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2. Consider that a little bonus facts you can now go tell all your friends about. In this issue, after Peter has had enough with J. Jonah Jameson and the backlash he's been getting as Spider-Man, he decides to throw away the suit and step down for good. Sound a little familiar? In the comic version, however, it is the Kingpin who uses the absence of Spidey to rise to power, not Dr. Octopus. Once Kingpin starts to rise to power, Jameson starts to push out papers connecting the businessman to the crime lord. And you guessed it, Kingpin didn't take that too kindly, and he goes out and kidnaps Jameson. This of course causes Spider-Man to come out of retirement and save J. Jonah Jameson. While he was successful in saving him, Kingpin was able to hold his own in the fight and inevitably got away. Kingpin then shows up regularly in all the Spider-Man comics, always trying to build up his criminal empire, only to get stopped one way or another by the web-slinging menace. He's a menace to the entire city! In 1981, Kingpin jumped franchises to Daredevil, making an appearance in issue number 170. This is where it is revealed his real name and identity to be Wilson Fisk. In this issue, Kingpin is actually successful in becoming the crime lord he was born to be and solidifies himself as Daredevil's arch nemesis for the years to come. Now while Kingpin's origins have been hinted at and alluded to in various comics, it wasn't until 1994's Spider-Man the Animated Series where we got the full deep dive of his origin. In this series, we find out that Wilson was looked down upon by his father due to being overweight and unable to help out with the family's criminal endeavors. Still hopeful to living up to the family name, Wilson eventually gets caught and goes to prison, where he spends all of this incarcerated time working out and increasing his criminal expertise. Contrary to popular belief, Kingpin's weight is made up of only 2% body fat. What do you have in mind? A pie eating contest? Ah. Approximately 2% of my body mass is fat. Allow me to show you what 350 pounds of muscle is capable of. Making him incredibly strong. Kingpin is also highly skilled in different forms of combat, but what makes Kingpin such a long-lasting foe for our heroes is his criminal and political expertise. More often than not, he can't be touched or sent to jail. Even when he is, it isn't for very long, not to mention, he's normally still running things, even while he's locked up. As for an impact and role he's going to have in the MCU moving forward, for those of you who don't already know, it was recently reported that Vincent D'Onfrio will be returning to reprise his role as Kingpin in the upcoming Hawkeye series. Whether it will be as the main villain, or rather just a cameo appearance, that is yet to be determined. I think it would work out great if he was the main villain, considering it already seems to be a grounded and street level show. I wouldn't expect a Charlie Cox Daredevil appearance in the show, however, but I do believe it to be inevitable for us to see them on the screen once again together. Like I said earlier in the video, there's no getting rid of Kingpin. He will always be back to cause problems for our street level heroes. Whether it's Kate, Clint, Daredevil, or Spider-Man, he's a threat to all. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't know what my voice did in that video, but 
I went with it and kept it going, so. <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss next week's episode of Who's Who. Haven't really decided what I'm doing yet. Just kidding, I have, but I won't tell you. No, but in all seriousness, this next month is about to be crazy for us geeks. We have Suicide Squad coming out next week. We have What If and Titans coming out the week after that. There's just so much geeky content. What's not to love? But don't worry, I'll be covering it all, and I'll see you guys all next week. Have an awesome Wednesday. Peace out.